You know, I probably saw him once or twice uh, where, we, where I was on the other side, and uh, it was just early, so you, you just knew you had to be aware of him when he was on the ice. So coming out, breaking out, he made a lot of good little plays, you know, in his own end, and uh, he always, you know, just seemed to be making that play with the puck. Yeah, I never, he never really looked at it. You know, when guys compete and win a lot of battles and make a lot of plays, uh, that's something that gets pushed aside. You know, I think coming up, coming out of college, you know, getting, starting your professional career, that's when it really becomes an issue because people don't have the trust yet that you can get the job done. And, you know, Dan, I think, showed that early on. He earned that from his teammates and coaches. And once he had that chance, he ran with it. And yeah, he never really looked back. It's exciting because um, obviously it wasn't too long ago they had that nice run to the finals and um, to get a caliber defenseman of, of, of his level it's it's exciting and and you know he was coming to us kind of right in that prime and and we were excited to be getting that that type of player and and just adding to our group when Dan comes over you don't really expect a trade like that it's a it's a pretty big move and to, to get a player. Um, was to what, what he meant to that organization, that team. You don't, you don't have that opportunity. So to see him come over is exciting. Um, he gets here, you know, he fits right into the group. We, we got a, a really good group and he just fits in seamlessly. Power play, you know, five on five. He plays all the, all the areas of the game and, you know, he just adds that, that element on a given night. He makes that play that might break open a game. He was just pretty simple. You know, there wasn't much to him in the dressing room. Um, you know, didn't have to do this or that. He shows up and, you know, a little warm up and he's ready to go play. He just competes. And that's the biggest thing you understand when Dan's out there is the competitor that you're going to get. And you always look for that on your team. And, and he was a guy you could count on. You know, it's good to see when you get, you know, a guy that just shows up is simple, you know, don't, doesn't need that. There isn't a whole lot, you know, of extra stuff floating around. It, it you know, it keeps everyone just puts it in perspective, you know, you go out and play, enjoy the game and compete and leave it at that. It's pretty fun to get out there and play against each other and get in the corners and, you know, just compete against each other. And um, it's such a cool event to be playing and everyone's, you know, understands the situation. You're going to play hard and, you know, you hope for the best. And, you know, they've, they, they got us um, in Vancouver that year and it was, uh, we'd like to see it go the other way, but, you know, that's how it goes. You know, it's hard to say. There's Dan sees the game in a certain way, and I think when you're done, you know, you still believe you can play. And, and in Dan's case, he could still play for, for sure. And, you know, so you let it sit probably a year or however long it was and watch the game a little bit, make sure that it's the right choice. And, um, you know, no doubt that if first year after, he could, he could probably still play in the league. And, you know, be be effective. So it's not easy, but he heck, you know, heck of a career, long. You know, he did a lot of lot of things throughout it, and you know, we're excited for him.